Pharaoh's new palace would reflect his godlike perception of himself. It was designed to evoke a sprawling seaside villa in the heart of the city. Vineyards, gardens, and pastures for wild animals would cover what had once been Rome's downtown crossroads. When the Domus Aria was completed after just four years, Emperor Nero exclaimed, Finally, I can begin to live in a house worthy of a human being. The surviving remnant is a dank shell of the decadent palace he inhabited. These brick and concrete chambers were once trimmed in gold and covered with colorful frescoes and priceless gems. There were semi-precious and precious stones embedded in the ceiling. The whole palace covered a huge part of central Rome, over three of the city's low hills. The pavilion on the Oppian Hill comprised both dining rooms and art galleries. At the center was a huge man-made lake. On the Caelian Hill to the south sat a gigantic terrace with fountains and formal gardens. The main palatial buildings, the contents of which we can only guess at, were on the prestigious Palatine Hill. Two main roads continued to cross this artificial landscape, allowing all to wander through much of the 200 acres, gaping at the new buildings. To those who lived in the tenements in Rome, as well as the swarms of tourists making special journeys, these buildings were extraordinary. Proof again that an emperor's power seemed limitless. It wasn't only the buildings that amazed everyone. One of the ancient authors tells us quite specifically that it really isn't the gold, the jewels, the fancy decoration that is extravagant. It's actually extravagant because of the space it takes up. There also stood in it a colossal statue of himself, 120 feet in height, Suetonius. Xenodorus was summoned to Rome by Nero and there made a colossus, 120 feet in height, intended to represent that emperor. In his studio, we used to admire not only the remarkable likeness of the clay model, but also to marvel at the frame of quite small timbers which formed the first stage of the work. Nero was quite prepared to provide gold and silver, but the statue is bronze, Pliny the Elder. Then, by building something more magnificent and more popular than the Golden House. The whole area was gradually reconstructed. And above all, to exploit the base appeal of gladiatorial combat, the lake was drained, covered with concrete, and used as the site for the most popular building that Rome would ever see, the Colosseum. <laughs> 